Hiya. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lavish Free TV here. And I'm again excited to have you here as usual. And today I just want to say a big thank you to every single subscriber that has subscribed to my channel i really really appreciate you you making my day so a thumbs up to you and for all you new subscribers to come are thinking about coming please do join lavish v family and make us make it happen I'm excited to have you here. Thank you so much for watching all my videos and I hope that they have been somewhat useful to you or if not, just put a smile on your face. But yes, a positive thing in your life more than a negative. Um, As I say again, thank you, thank you so much. I don't want to talk too long today. I just want to give you this that i've come to share with you today this video is about um 10 fragrances that is awesome it's they are simple and elegant and just flawless um you can't complain about this fragrance um each and every one of them i've and picked them just for you just to make you smell mm. I'm gonna go through them one by one and I've even researched all the notes for you so you don't need to do it for yourself and yes I hope my taste will now become your taste and you will give them a go some of them is um, a little bit pricey but some of them is reasonable price. You don't have to spend a whole heap of money just because you want to smell good. And with the season now, it's cold and everything. You want fragrance that smells nice, make you feel warm and cozy and delicate and elegant and still feel just great. So I've truly spent time amongst over a hundred fragrance and come up with these ones for you so i didn't just say i want to do um a fall fragrance video for you and i and just pick any old fragrance and brought it to you i truly spent time smell a lot of them and i really didn't really look at all the expensive fragrance that i've got um, I just really and truly believe that this fragrance is good for the season and affordable. So here, and I've dropped a bonus one. I meant to do 10, but I just couldn't leave one out. So I dropped it in and yes. So here is my beautiful bouquet a fragrance on a nice gloss silver tray for you can you see yes so one by one um hmm see hmm um one by one i'm gonna be going through these fragrances just for your delight so bear with me one second Oh, don't fall. If you break, I won't be happy. So, yes, as I've said, I've written down the notes. And I will make sure that you know what's going on inside these fragrances today. I'm going to be starting with... Oh, uh, let's start with Roberto Cavalli, and it's the the night one. Um, this one, ladies and gentlemen, this is called Roberto Cavalli Neuro, um, and it's a perfume. And it's got the top notes are orchid and citrus. And the middle notes is vanilla, which 
I love any fragrance that has vanilla in it. This is a very strong fragrance, like I said in my other video, and um, it's strong for me, but I do like it. I think that this fragrance with the time being so cold and you're wearing your mask, you need something to warm you up. And I really think this one would do that for you. I'm going to give it a spray and tell you. Yes, it's got the nice um, vanilla coming through. Very strong because it's the Neuro, so it's for the night version. So this is a good fragrance to go out. I believe this fragrance is unisex. They didn't say that on the label, but in my opinion, it's kind of a unisex fragrance. So your husband or your wife or anyone could actually wear this one. So that's why I chose this one because I believe it could be unisex. So this one is my bonus fragrance for number 11. You will smell nice. Moving on, we are going to be looking at this little cutie right here. And it's Dulce by Dulce and Gabon. And this one now, it's got the top notes. Oh, it's a floral fragrance, ladies and gentlemen. It is a floral fragrance. Let's not forget. And you can see the cute little top up here. It's got a white rose and it's just gorgeous. It's a very gorgeous bottle. And the liquid, that mint looking green, it's very unusual color. And um, it's got the little black bow, which is cute. So it's very feminine, that one. And it's sweet yet refined. That's what it's been described as. And it's got white amaris flowers used. And it's sens it leaves a sensual trail. It's got some musk in it. And it's got some lasting impression in there so let's give it a splash hmm. very very feminine this one can't be unisex at all this one is definitely feminine and i give it 10 out of 10 as a fall fragrance no complaint here it's very delicate and dainty in my humble opinion it's gorgeous. It's very florally. It is nice. So that's going to be my number one. Because as I said, the first one was my bonus one. And yeah. So moving on, I will go into this baby. This is Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. And this fragrance can you see this beautiful, elegant bottle here? The little cube. So it's a circle with a cube on it. Yes, very nice. This fragrance, ladies and gentlemen, it says in my notes here that it is. <laughs> it is a fruity floral fragrance. And hold on. One sec, I'm trying to open it up and see where we are with it. <sighs> Sorry about that. Let's give it a... Oh, this fragrance is... Oh! <sighs> no. Listen fragrances like this particular one here makes me behave somehow and i don't want to behave badly in the camera so i'm gonna just chill myself because mm -mm, this fragrance <sighs> mm, i'm not gonna say a lot more than signature fresh clean this one has got in orchid and it said um it's 
citrus and it's fruity it's got some vanilla going on inside and everybody know i love a vanilla fragrance any fragrance that have any type of vanilla in it's win-win for me i give it a big thumbs up so i'm not gonna complain and in the base it says here it's got some ebony wood well whatever ebony wood is i'm loving the combination in this fragrance this is a great fall fragrance no lie um i think i have chosen some good um fragrances for you and you should please please appreciate because i think i did a good job in um my choices that i've picked out and yeah let's see where we go so the next fragrance i would like to talk about it's by gucci and maybe you know the one i'm gonna be talking about maybe you don't but if you don't know it then you should get to know it and if you do know it you should agree with me and it's gucci guilty the gold one and yes this is a awesome fragrance and in my notes here it's got papaya flowers it's got neurally i had to look that up neurally and i'm excited to share that with you so neurally is um something that i put in perfumes and apparently this neurally i researched that for you it is um essence from african orange blossom so yeah that is interesting i'm happy that i found that out because i didn't know what neurally is so now i know and it's in quite a few fragrance and it's in this bad girl here um this i believe to be a awesome fragrance for the fall um it's it's worth it for the fall it smells nice i like it and yeah you can smell the freshness from it you can smell the quality and it's got long lasting powers Be let me before i move on to so that's the guilty gucci guilty before i move on to talk about any other thing i must add that all the fragrances that i've chosen has staying power they will last on you for a good uh four or five hours and it's wise to spray your fragrance on your um pulse points like i've told you in another video which is behind your ears your neck and your wrist but also splash two splashes on your clothes because when your skin sucking all that fragrance and you have some on some of it on your clothes then you will just be popping all day long so yeah it's best to double up body and clothes and yep so i i've got one here that is a classic a lot of people know it i should imagine because um it's by elizabeth taylor and she's supposed to be famous lady which so i am assuming that this should be um like a known brand and what i chose for you today with um this one it's uh elizabeth taylor let's go in and it's can you see it's um elizabeth taylor white diamonds and it's the white diamonds night and a black bottle and it's gorgeous as you can see here it's just wonderful it's nothing not to like on the bottle it's pardon me it's got um some diamond tea fake look down it looks gorgeous i like this 
um look uh so let's give it a whip hmm it's strong as well and what i would like to say about this fragrance the initial spray it's so strong mm. Mm. the initial spray you might think mm, it took you back a little bit like but when it cools off for a cool 30 seconds the nice aroma the woody the fruitiness and it's very powdery and citrusy and fresh it it's got patchouli and it's got um sweet musk not just any old musk the sweet one once you get over the initial 30 seconds then mm, you are in it's gorgeous it's very nice and i'm loving this choice for the fall um yeah because to me um during this pandemic and fall um season where it's cold you need um something that um is a bit strong to wrap you up and make you feel nice like a comfort blanket so the fragrance must be a little bit strong to to kind of hug you and um yes yeah, so that's in my opinion and all these fragrance and my reviews are my own i'm not being paid so that's my disclaimer i just think that it's good to have like um somebody who loves fragrance and really love it i don't just come on here just to talk about it because someone else is doing it i'm talking because it's always been my passion and i didn't know that you actually can go online and tell people about it i've lived my life all my life from i can afford things for myself um with a lot of fragrances that's all i keep on my dresser from when i'm a teenager so fragrance it hasn't just been something that i'm just into it's like i'm born with it and my mom always say when i was young that when you are going out and you haven't put on your perfume it's like you are not finished dressing it's like you're not ready to go where you are going so this is something from youth that um, I've just embraced <clears throat> all my life. And yeah, so it's fun for me and and my kind of hobby and my upbringing with, with fragrance that I'm using now. But before I used to go a fragrance particular just because it smell so it was it it did it don't have to be about name it it's just got to smell good and even now smell good and long lasting power that's that's my interest it's not how much you have paid for it if there's a absolutely fantastic smell of a perfume that you truly love because i've got expensive perfume as well but i love them and i have affordable ones too so if you absolutely love it why not so yeah it shouldn't be price and whatever so yeah moving on i don't want to go into too much details about that so we have gone through um we have gone through five fragrances and we have um, six remaining because one was bonus and then there is 10 that I would like to do. So moving on, we are going to be doing this beauty here, which is because of because it's you by um emporio armani so because of you emporio armani we are going to be seeing what notes are in this and i'm no expert 
I've written this down so I'm gonna just check my notes a little bit because like I said I go in it for the smell really and the lost in power not so much what's in it in it as long as it doesn't have um human or animal stuff in it then I'm good smell is what I go after so yes this because it's you by a morning it's um floral fruity and it's got raspberry come on i love a raspberry and it's got lemon and it's got some amber wood and it's got my favorite vanilla and it's got some musk in it so let's give it a whiff <laughs> this smell edible it's like a gourmand fragrance. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Like, sexy. Mm, sexy. See? Sexy. Sexy, sexy, sexy perfume. It smells like a sexy candy, sultry. It's not sweet stay from it's sweet attractive um in my opinion i love this fragrance and the liquid inside is quite thick it's not thin and watery so i'm impressed with it it's very nice so yeah because it's you by amarni that's a great one and we are going to move on with with this little bad boy here our bad girl our good girl there's a good girl but this isn't good girl so this fragrance i want to show you it's um by givenchy yes it's by givenchy and it's a real oldie but goodie Yes, so sorry about that. Um, I would like to talk about this Givenchy fragrance. And it's um, an oldie, like I said before, but goodie. And this fragrance, ladies and gentlemen, it is called um, Amarage. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know about it before, but it is a good fragrance. I don't know why I'm not looking at the camera, and I'm sorry for that. But um, I've written it down here, and I'm not seeing where I've written about it. Um, yeah. Let's just go in and talk about the smell. This is not just one that um, is for somebody that's looking for a perfume for the fall. This one, I would say it's an old year. And this is what it is looking like. I said before I'm not impressed with the bottle but I'm loving the fragrance what's inside and that's what matters so without further ado I'll give it a little splash hmm. Hmm. this is a cashmere rich lovely essence um, so nice if you are wearing this, you can have it as your signature smell all year round. Like I said, it's great now for the fall. It's great for summer. It's just a great all-rounder. I had to put this in my fall fragrance. Um, it's, what would I say about it? It's so elegant. It's ladylike. It's, hmm. It went in my hand, so I'm smelling my hand. <sighs> yes, 
it's one that is awesome so again it's um givenchy amorage and some can say amorage whatever you want to call it as long as it's givenchy and it's got the region it superb so moving on to our number eight fragrance now i'm gonna say this fragrance it's not an expensive fragrance at all it's um very very reasonable but the smell is exquisite i love this fragrance it's just a fragrance that if i wanna go out during before it was coronavirus time and you are going on a evening date you can splash it on and feel good it's just um a great fragrance and this one too could be a signature fragrance and it would be great for the fall in my humble opinion it's a lovely lovely fragrance and affordable very very affordable and it's called agent provocateur petal noir so it's noir is in french i think that's night but this is a awesome fragrance it's here look at the bottle it's elegant it's delicate it's just superb and the liquid look you can hold it like this that's the cover it's a little pin that locks around it and it's like that and then you clip it around here and it's all locked up like that um this fragrance um not even <sighs> this fragrance it's a good fragrance and in here You've got, it's an oriental mystique and it's layered with dramatic rose. What rose is that? Um, and it's um, absolute with your lang, lang It's sweet. It's got um, Neuroli again, which is the blossom, orange blossom um, essence. And it's got um, what's musk, sweet musk crystals. Crystals of musk i don't know it's got a spicy card according to them but it's a delicious fragrance mm. yes they have something special it smell unique it's not like um any other fragrance that have smell um it's it's good it's mm. i dropped it i'm sorry it's got to stay till we are finished because let's get this show on the road um, so that uh, my video don't end up being way too long. I'm trying to avoid that nowadays. You live and you learn. So my number nine spot goes to this one here, Dolce & Gaban, and is L imperatrice el imperatrice by dolce and gaban this fragrance i do love this fragrance it's a clean fresh smell and it's long lasting too like all the others that i've shown you tonight it's very awesome i like it um it's clean like i said it's fresh and in this it's got some pink pepper it's got kiwi it's got rhubarb i don't like rhubarb personally i don't do rhubarb but it's in here and i like it in the mixture of whatever they put in here it's good um and it's got some sandalwood musk and lemon tree the whole tree because it didn't say anything i like uh, essence from lemon tree it just says lemon tree so yes this is um el imperatrice by dolce and gaban put it under it's so clean it's so fresh it's it's very it smells pink and peppery jasmine and it's got watermelon that's that's 
that's what I'm smelling. I love the watermelon in it. This and look at the color. So yes, definitely. I do like that smell. I do like it. I could smell it over and over and over and over and over. Moving on. Time is of the essence. This one here is um a oldie but goodie. And I think it's the most pricey of all the fragrances I've gone through tonight um, for the fall. And this one here is Coco Chanel. Well, what's left of it, really? So this Coco Chanel um, is this one. Look, I almost finished it. So I wear this one a lot. I like it as a signature smell. It It's not got a lot in it. I have to get a new one. But because of late, I have um been using all these fall ones. Um, I will leave this little in the bottle for a little while because it's, it's a bit pricey. Let me just use some other fall fragrances. But yeah, this could be a choice for your fall. And um, it smells like, you know, it smells like a rich person, um, a mature lady. It's classy. It's timeless to me anyways. Um, I would definitely, when I finish squirting what's left in this and I have some money, I'm going to get another one. Um, yes, yeah, so definitely Coco Chanel. Um, add a perfume. Can't complain. The black lid one. Can't complain. For the fall, you'll smell great. Drum roll. Do -do 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 -do. So, last but not by any means least, I have chosen. Um, <laughs> I have chosen YSL Purple this one here and i'm very happy with the choice it's it's a nice fragrance it's got um lavender and again in this one has raspberry and um i do not know what uh what um doctora flower is um i mean in image wise you know what a flower is I didn't see an image for it, so I don't really know how its shape or how unusual it is. Um, so, yes, it's got that in it with some white moss. It's got patchouli and it's got um, lavender and the raspberry. So, the raspberry lavender is the top note. Then it um, mellows down with the doctoral flower and then white moss and then... The base note comes down to be patchouli. Now, some people don't like patchouli. I don't mind it. I like it. Um, it gives the perfume a longer lasting power. And yes, this one lasts on me. I've only used it a couple of times. This is a second bottle. And yes, I like it because it's fresh and it's dainty. And it just... Mm. Hmm, it's a great fragrance. It's not a perfume. It's a uh, at a toilet, but it it's very powerful and it lasts and it smells great. And for me, it's good for the fall. So I'm not gonna complain about it. I'm gonna be loving it up and using it. And yeah, so that wraps it up for me with my fall collection so we can go over it again so it's coco chanel it's givenchy amarage then we come down to just cavalli neuro and then we say white diamonds night then we say jimmy choo by jimmy choo then we have Guilty, um, uh, Gucci Guilty, 
Then we have Dulce by Dulce and Gabbana. Then we've got Armani um, because it's you. And we have um, YSL Purple, um, Editor Lab. And we've got L. L. in Patrice. And we have the bonus one, which um, was the number 11. And it fell. And it was um, Provocateur Petal. And it's a lovely one. And you can't complain and say, I didn't try to help you. And you didn't smell nice for the fall because you didn't have a lot of money. Because I did try to help. So thank you for watching. It's always a pleasure. I, I, I love you guys. Please subscribe. And please, please give a thumbs up. And put a comment in the comment section. Thank you.